I've recently taken an interest in graphics programming. I was always feeling like my personal projects didn't really match what I was doing at work. I just wanted to find something where things I do on my personal time and at work can sort of synthesize so I don't have to feel like there's a separation. And I think I found that in graphics programming because I get to improve on the code as well as put all my visual arts and creative stuff into one. I heard the road is a lot of linear algebra, a lot of low level programming, but I'd love to give it a shot. So today I'm going to start with OpenGL. It seems like the path most traveled with a lot of guides, so I'm just gonna go there. Previously, I printed these guys, and I've always been pretty interested in 3D. You know, another type of art, so to say. It looks like graphics programming has a lot to do with these guys. So let's see how I do today. I went to orientation today, and a SIGGRAPH 2025 recap at this point I hear a lot of jargon, I kind of don't know what they're talking about, but I did at least get exposed to what the industry trends are like, and the gist of it I got was Unity had some scandal, it's on the way out, and the real industry leader is emerging to the Unreal Engine, as well as there's something called a 3D Gaussian Splat. I kind of looked into what a Splat is, still not super sure on it. But apparently that's a hot new thing and every demo presentation had something about it inside. But tonight, I should not get ahead of myself. I should just make sure I can set up OpenGL window and context with my Xcode on Mac and I will call it a day. If you're just curious about what I'm doing, basically I'm just trying to draw a triangle onto my screen. And what I'm setting up helps me do that. I'm starting to realize everyone in the tutorials has a Windows machine. So I'm literally just asking ChatGPT, how do I set this up for Mac and trying to follow the directions. And now I'm trying to just get a minimum viable environment working and I'll worry about the rest later. I just need to keep on sprinting forward. Just reading about drawing a triangle is too hard for me, so instead I'm watching YouTube video for the tutorial. I think it's much better to understand that way, but I feel kind of dumb reading the website. I'm finding it very helpful to use Xcode, and in the autocomplete, I see all the parameters so I can follow along and see what each thing being filled out actually is. Because if you just present it to me as is like that, I'm kind of lost. Okay, are we ready for my first triangle? I'm gonna press Command R. We'll see if anything comes up. Oh! Can you believe it? I made a triangle. I honestly don't understand everything I wrote because a lot of it was copy and paste, but I'm kind of getting the big picture. I don't think my goal today is to understand every line of what I wrote, but just to get exposure for now. I'm pretty happy I completed the hello triangle. It's a start somewhere. Shout out to Victor Gordon. Without him, I don't think this triangle would have happened. What I'm gonna do tomorrow is put everything I try to write in ChatGPT section by section just to talk over all the logic behind it. You just have so many steps to do one little thing. You know, so today, mostly, I feel like I learned the jargon, um, but the inner workings, I will probably figure out through that. Low-level programming is kind of scary. You have so much control that if you mess one thing up in the wrong order, it's GG. So that's why in the tutorial, they were like, you must do things in this order. If you don't, things won't work. So I was like, going back and forth, double-checking, everything identical. Do you see the do happening over here? That's not from health, that's not from skincare. It's from the stress of understanding what happened just now. I think I produced a film over my face from all the intellectual thoughts. Okay, I'm back. You remember how yesterday I was like, this tutorial feels like copy and paste? Well, now I'm back to try and understand what I just wrote. My plan is I'm gonna try explaining to myself 
piece by piece and pasting it in ChatGPT and having better understanding and see if there's any gaps in my explanation. Then I'm going to go and read all about shaders, learn what shaders are, what these little programs do, and I will call it a day. Back on my attempt to try and understand deeper, so one of the exercises is to make two triangles. So I've made a, uh, many Frankensteins of triangles. And then finally, we have two, haha. -ha. I feel like learning this stuff, the progress is way more slow because it's so dense. Unlike when you first learn like a programming language, you can kind of just do things rapid fire. But this one, there's too many moving parts. You have to go slow and try to understand all of them before you can move on. Okay, I think I found the bug. Gonna run it one more time. Fingers crossed for real this time. Oh, I did it. Oh my gosh. It's beautiful. Even though it's the most basic thing I can make, it's still beautiful. I'm a little bit pleased with myself because I can do all the exercises pretty easily without peeing the solutions. That tells me I really understand the content and I'm finding it really interesting. I'm really, really happy. So I think I'm kind of itching to do Unity. I'm gonna try and do like little projects. You know, I'm impatient, so I wanna see visual results soon, but I will still continue doing Learn OpenGL just to peek under the hood. But so far, I'm really encouraged by what I'm trying to do. This is Baby's first triangle, my hello world of sorts in the graphics programming. I'm nervous to try and pivot into this direction but I'm working really, really hard every day, studying and trying to understand as much as I can. So thank you for watching. Enjoy all my triangles, and I'll see you next time. Bye!